Happy Thursday, everybody. And I haven't done a TAFO tip in a while, but I think uh, one of the important topics that I want to bring up today uh, resonates probably with you guys, whether it's in Smash or, you know, a bunch of other things in life. I always try to make uh, these TAFO tips, you know, as relatable as possible. And so the topic I really want to talk about today is how do we deal with failure or deal with criticism when something goes along the way. We'll talk about both because I think both are important. And so one of the big things um, that discourages people is they do well, they do well, do do well, or they hit a wall and they, or they come to this instance where it's like, oh dang, like this didn't quite work out as well as I did. I didn't quite do well in this bracket. Um, I lost to a player I shouldn't have. And then you kind of hit this wall. And sometimes the failure aspect may not happen over one particular incident. It may happen over a series of months where you just go in a cold slump and you really get down on yourself. So of course, you know, there's like the emotional aspect of it. Yeah, um, losing sex, um, failing a test sex. Um, so I don't want to undermine the, the emotional aspect that comes out and says like, hey, like, um, this really sucks. Like, I feel hurt by it. Um, so there's a moment in a time where you can kind of grieve over it. And then you, uh, we need to kind of move on and say like, hey, like, this, this thing that happened to me, like, I failed, it went really awfully. Yes, like, that sucked, but, like, how do we improve from it? And so the quicker you can try to figure out, like, how do we process the emotions and then move forward and say, like, hey, okay, like, what can we do next time to make sure that, that doesn't happen again? Or what's some things I can improve on? And so key thing here, um, don't focus on the results. Always be process focused um, in whatever you do, whether it's, you know, producing your studying regimen or, you know, practicing or improving in Smash. We always want to emphasize the process. Chances are, you know, that this one this one local, this one national, this one paper, it's not going to determine your life's fate. You still have a lot you can take care of after, after the fact. Um, if you fail a tournament, um, you have a bunch of other opportunities. You still have a lot of time to improve. You don't do well at a national, well, just you have another couple months to do it well at the next one. So there's always going to be opportunities around. So that's like one thing we have to keep in mind. And by kicking yourself in the foot and not letting go of it, uh, sometimes that's how frustrating it is, um, ultimately distracts um, you from achieving your goal. So you can acknowledge the failure, um, but also keep in mind that you always have the room to improve and do better. And it comes back down to what we've talked about in other TAFO talks of asking good questions, discerning with friends, and being able to figure out solutions to very bite-sized chunks. So when you, and this is like, for example, why I heavily emphasize, you know, micro level improvement, because this allows you to improve in ways that are easily traceable. Whereas if you make your goals too large and say like, I want to beat Mango and you keep failing, um, then you're not going to focus on the little things that will help you improve. And sometimes the feedback loop is there, not there because, um, you know, you may be improving substantially, but you may still be getting three stock by Mango. So it almost seems like you're not improving at all. So I like incremental change so that you can keep track of it. And this helps you deal with failure because you're now like, well, okay, like here's some things I could do better. Um, here's some things I could do next time. I messed up this text goal. And you can easily pinpoint from there, if you, especially if you record um, the little things that you could do better. And that's what you should be focusing on. Now with criticism, and this is the other side of it, this is probably the one that's a little bit more difficult. Um, this is something that you know I've struggled with from time to time. And criticism, especially with how the internet works, you know, especially if you're starting to get some momentum in your Smash career, you're starting to get on stream more, um, people could be brutal, um, especially if you do commentary too. Um, so once again, detach yourself as much as possible. As, as hard as that sounds, I'm not saying like just deal with it, but detach your, um, because it's online, like don't take it too personally. And even if it's a friend, um, my attitude I take is like, hey, like I'm not perfect. I know that I could do better. Um, and I come in with this mind of saying like, hey, I'm not perfect. I don't, like even me as an analyst, like I still get stuff wrong. But like having this humble attitude to say like I could keep learning and I can do better actually, you know, for me at least helps a lot in terms of like not taking things so personally because I'm not going to be this high and mighty guy saying, oh my gosh, like, but I'm Tafokins. 
but what I do is I say like, hey, like, you know what? Like, even as vile as how people can be, like, is there any truth to what this person's saying? And that's how that's how I read comments now. It's like, okay, this guy, like, he should never have the mic again. He's boring as f. Like, I wish he never commentated. Like, he he doesn't catch the the big moments as well as Scar and Tove. Well, if I see something like that, it's like, oh, dang, that's, like, really harsh. But then I can look and say, like, is there any truth to the fact that, like, I may not be low, like, energy, high energy, or I may not capture a hype moment as good as I should have? And I'll focus on those two points and say, like, you know what? I can do better on that. I, I can, you know, make my words, you know, more compact so that it gives me more room and more energy to bring in emotions that I need to to certain instances. Or maybe even an article didn't quite hit a point that I wanted, um, and then, and then somebody points, points it out to me, maybe not in the nicest way. Well, I could just say like, okay, like, you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I could do better. And that's the attitude that will ultimately help you. Um, because if you have this like kind of big ego, um, whether it's in practice and you have a friend like say like, oh, Hey, maybe you should do it like this. Um, if your ego gets in the way, like you're not going to receive that very well. And you're going to be very defensive you're going to take it very personally. So ultimately, um, as we're talking and as we're progressing and as we're improving, um, realize that, you know, maybe you don't take every person's advice and maybe you disagree with them and that's fine too. Um, but take it with like kind of a, in a position of humbleness of that you always want to learn and you always want to improve. And with that, it makes it a lot easier. So that's like pretty much it for this TAFO talk. Um, if you really like what the work I do, um, support me um, if you go to Alpha Draft. Um, I have a li- I'm going to have a link on every YouTube video. If you use that referral link and you deposit money, I get a kickback, and that actually helps me um, produce content. Or if you just want to support me on Patreon, that's really great as well, um, and that's really awesome. And will always be reinvested into things that help out the community, whether it's for me to travel to events or me buying more equipment when I inevitably move. Um, everything helps. So really thank you guys. And I really hope you guys have a great time watching pound this week.